So today I'm gonna work on this uh, refining the selections. So here my player character, player, player's faction is this red faction. So that's why I am able to select and command these red actors. And also I can select uh, buildings, but now by doing a box selection around the characters that belongs to other factions, I can't select, see? I can't. But if I directly click on them, I can. Similarly, I can select the buildings as well. So, and so the box selection does not consider buildings. With the box selection, we can only select characters. And also, these characters should belong to same team, same faction as the player. Uh, and similarly, we can select anything, any other building as well by directly clicking on them. But they are not working with box selection and also even though we can select uh, characters built that belongs to enemy factions i can't control them i can't command them just like i command my own characters so these are the things that we are going to work on today as i'm referring to age of empires for these tutorials this is the way it works with age of empires as well so that's why i thought of implementing the same behavior here okay so before we get started i may remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done in my channel on the patreon page once you become a member you can access anything without any limits and also here is the full playlist where i show everything from scratch how did i implement what you see in this project so feel free to follow and whatever you can also this is actually we are focusing on c plus plus development we are implementing everything with c plus plus but if you are interested more in the blueprint side of things this uh, strategy series here i have used blueprints exclusively so feel free to check that out uh, i'll leave links to everything in description below all right right so yesterday we implemented this uh, faction system where we can see colors for based on the faction they belongs to uh, now what i want to do is here i can actually select any faction so if i drag a box like this everyone within that uh, box will be selected but i want to avoid that i want to be able to select only the actors belongs to the player's faction and also i don't want to be able to select uh, i should be able to select characters that belongs to other factions but not with this but by directly clicking on them so we should be able to see their details and in the same way i should be able to select buildings and see their details here okay so to get started first thing i want to do is uh, for the top down player controller i need to introduce a team number a faction id just like we did for the pawn so here let me copy the same thing faction id and paste it here this and then also just like with the base pawn i want to implement the faction interface so i'll do that too i don't think i have to show these steps because i have already shown how to do those things for base pawn but And implementation okay. to get action override right information right. 
ಇಷ್ಟ So that's pretty much all. And as the default value for the player controller, Q1, and zero, 1. I think I want to do that. This character as well. So for the base building, it does not really matter. We need to initialize them anyway later on. Okay, now, uh, when I select here, all the select adapters, here I check, I, oh, right now I only check if that class implements selectable interface. Now before that, I need to check their um, faction as well. So to do that, we need to check if some actor class implements interface An interface. Okay. Okay. If yes, we need to get the faction. So here we are checking if that actor implements the faction interface. And if yes, in 32 action equals action interface execute get action and now we need to make sure if these factions matches so if then ID of the player controller is not equal to action that we got above. Maybe we should rename this like action. If that is the case, we can continue. That means we don't need if this is if the faction IDs don't match, we don't need to select that particular actor. Okay. So continue means we are just skipping this iteration from here. And when we iterate through all selected actors, and we will continue from the next actor. Right now, go here. Compile. Select them. Oh. I select. Uh, I can select this guy. So yeah, actually because this is the action one. Action ID one is blue, and here you can see I can select even buildings. So as I said, I want to avoid selecting buildings. Okay. Okay, I think I like the player color to be red. So you can change this data table, action data. Change this color. Then. 
bench. And maybe put the button to get the effect. Yeah, now it did update. These guys, I want them to be team one, action ID one. So the building, so is it actionary to the one and to take the effect we need to recompile this too. Okay. Now the next thing is I should not be able to select with the box select these built in. So to prevent that we can this is where we get all selected actors and here you can see we are getting a actor type but if I go here we are selecting actor here get actors in selection rectangle and here I'm using a actor filter so if I use a CLM base phone as the class here I sh I will only select actors that belongs to either a CLM base phone or child classes of that either that or we could just do a cast from the controller side and check if it is successful if yes then we are actually a character or phone but I prefer to use the class filter so let's go here. This that change to ACLM. Over define this class. Okay. And then some errors in the top down hard yeah this also should be a aclm base four this two we need to get to that yeah oh put it down Okay, good here. Let's go to the effect controller. This also needs to be all right. Now let's go back and do compile. All good. Now see only the characters are selected and for if I just directly click on the buildings or characters that belongs to anime factions I can still select them but here now only the if I do a drag and select only the characters are selected but that is also only the characters that belongs to me and I can command them of course uh, one more thing can I still command if I select one of them I can that might be something we need to avoid all right so this function command selected actors and selected actors this is where i command uh, the selected actors when i have selected multiple actors and this part this is where i command when i have selected only one actor by clicking on them so here we need to in both cases we need to to uh, action check but we wouldn't get um, actors that 
belongs to a different faction into this array uh, into this array because we already filter it so let's do it here if so do it If oh, I can do the same way before the if we need to get it. Action ID is not equal to actor of action. We need to return. Yeah, that means we don't need to execute the rest of the function. Okay, so in Come on, select, but we can't find it. We are not able to come out. We can still select. But these guys, we can, even if I select only one. Alright, so I think that's all I want to cover in this episode. So, thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.